to you all tonight our special musical guests. We have Roger Cooper over here and Michael Garvin. They're both excellent fiddle players. They play um, Kentucky music and they specialize in playing and playing um, fiddle music from their area, um, from the Lewis County area. Um, so that, that, that is the type of music they'll play. You'll get to hear it tonight. Has anyone ever heard either one of them perform? Wonderful. <laughs> well, the rest of you all are in for a show. Um, Roger Cooper, he began his musical career when he was only 12 years old. And he started that with playing guitar behind Joe Stamper, and that was at Vanceburg's um, radio station. Um, and now he's played fiddle for over 40 years. And Michael over here, he's, he began a, a pr an apprenticeship through the Kentucky Arts Council in 2005. So he's been learning under Roger Cooper, but been playing fiddle for about six years now. <laughs> called the, uh, the Snake Winder. Thomas was our greatest fiddle player from up there, uh, and he's got pretty famous everywhere, and uh, I do a lot of his stuff, and that's one of his tunes. Uh, I try to promote him everywhere I go because, you know, I learned so much from him, but uh, that's one of the tunes there I got from him. Uh, there's another tune up in there, though. They have different type of tunes, some maybe jigs and, uh, you know, uh, some more mountainous and some horn pipes. And, a variety of stuff. Uh, stuff they ain't heard. Yeah, and, and hardly anybody's heard it, you know. <laughs> They're starting to now because uh, they've uh, been up there and recorded some of the guys, Buddy Thomas and some other fiddlers up there. And they recorded it in the 70s, a lot of them, and then they never put them out until just last year. They finally put them out, a bunch of them. So they're getting out that way. But uh, before that, it hadn't been heard too many places, you know. But, uh, what do you want to call the Palm Creek Polka? It's another local town up there. Right. Is that <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, I think it's really a polka, but it's uh, <laughs> it's not like today's polkas. You know, it's had a different old timer flavor to it. The same rhythm as polka. Mm -hmm. No accordion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no accordion. <laughs> but uh, uh, that tune comes from around uh, from Jimmy Wheeler, a guy that lived in Portsmouth a lot. It's pretty close to where we're from, is Portsmouth. And a whole bunch of good tunes came from there, too. I'll try Stonewall Jackson, maybe. <laughs> same tune a lot in different places they call them something else and they call it the duck's eyeball up in Ohio <laughs> from where I live you know and, uh, and they sing, had a little song they'd sing about what stuck my finger in the duck's eyeball so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, uh, an old uh, uh, an older guy that was a star with Doc Roberts in the old days and like in the 30s you know and, 30s and 40s, and Doc Roberts was, he was a pretty famous fiddle player from up around Lexington in there, and uh, A.C. Martin, and uh, he recorded it, and had words to it about uh, staying in the kitchen till the cook comes home, is what his song was about. Did you know Gus Mead? Yes, I did. He wanted to have a fiddle contest for the only things you could play as far as the camera. He did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sound like him. <laughs> yeah, he was a uh, he was one of the uh, credited. You know, I credited him for saving that music up there because he's the one who recorded it. The first that I know of, you know, when they recorded it and everything. And him and John Heron did too a whole lot of it. But uh, uh, hadn't been for them guys coming along and uh, and then uh, and the guy from a record company that knew them came you know, with Gus, and uh, so they got all them tunes recorded but, and saved a lot of, a lot of nice music, but uh, they just didn't get them put on the record for about 30 years after, you know, it's what it was, it was so much time in between, but they got them anyway. So the old guys, you know, a lot of them thought, ah, they were putting me on a record, you know, just be bragging about it and proud of it and waiting and waiting. <laughs> They all died before they ever came out, you know. It's the sad part of how they, they didn't get to really see their stuff on record. You know. But, you know, what was it to Mark Gamble? <laughs> Thank you. 
sure, thank you. Oh, you're a nice crowd. Man. <laughs> yeah, <easy> to... <laughs> <clears throat> Can't drink in the library. <laughs> yeah. No, I've never heard this much noise in the library. <laughs> we played it one up to uh, Flatwoods back in the summer. Michael and me did. And that's the first time I'd ever played in a library. What a good time. Yeah, similar, similar to this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want to play a guitar tune on the mic? Oh, yes. <laughs> you want to? You don't have to. Uh, it's too quiet to play, but <laughs> I'm not used to this much attention now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to try to play a Mel Travis thumb picking tune, my guitar hero. Mm -hmm. was in uh, Fleming County was the county right next to us and it was really popular over there. They, we had a lot of fiddlers in Lewis County and uh, some of them would play Mark Campbell but all of them couldn't play it, you know. But over on the Fleming County over there they all could play it over there. I guess it's uh, You played with Charlie Cannon? Yeah, I knew Charlie real well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you, had you been up to their place? Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, it was a, uh, <clears throat> it was like a, another time of the world when when you go to their place. You know, it was. A, One of my favorite stories about traveling around was uh, Johnny got married and was building a house, and, and he said, "Hazel, Hazel, said, when we get our house." Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I used to go out there a lot. I lived pretty close to them when I was a 
growing up, you know. And then, uh, but uh, I was over talking to Charlie one day. We were staying in the barn, and, and uh, Charlie, uh, I, he was talking, I was looking off up to there, and I looked back around, and he was laying down on the on the barn floor, flat on his back, just laying there looking at me, at me talking, you know. Just, I said, what are you doing down there? He said, oh, he said, I, my blood pressure got up a little bit. Lay down on the ground, that'll bring it back down, he said. Whether it would or not, I don't know, you know. But he laid there a couple minutes, and he got up. You know. But he, he was a... Uh, of old time ways, you know, and uh, he, he knew doctrine and stuff like that, herbs and all that. And he would doctor himself and other people too, you know, uh, if there wasn't nothing bad wrong with him, you know, around there. But, uh, I, I was out there one time and uh, he kept getting something out of his overhaul bib and he'd take a little sip of it and he'd put it back in there now and then. I knew he didn't drink or nothing. I, I kind of caught him doing that a few times. I said, what, what are you drinking there, Charlie? And he said, Oh, he said, just a little bit of Listerine. He said, it won't hurt you. He said, I'll just kind of sip on a little bit. Keep him getting a cold, he said. <laughs> he was swallowing it and all. <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, to me, you know, uh, I didn't think nothing about stuff like that much, but until I got older, you know. But uh, I was sitting at home, you know, these were people that were just of another time period. They didn't have no electricity until just not too many years before they died, you know. But uh, they, they're real famous now, I mean, in the art world. You know. Did a lot of paintings and wood carvings and so forth. And, uh, and so they're getting pretty popular. And, and I, I turned the news on one night and uh, overnight news, Linda Ellerby, the overnight news of the world, I guess. Picture up there, Charlie and Noah Kenny, Lewis County, Kentucky. And I, <laughs> right there, you know. And going over the world news, you know. Right. And, yeah. So next time I went out there, I told them about that. And they said, uh, we ain't got no television here. But, but uh, I said, there's all times somebody filming stuff. Said, we hard to tell what it was. He said, <laughs> they could care less about it. You know. They were the last of their kind. Of uh, they were the last people that I knew of, of those type. There were a lot of other people up there were like that too, you know. But they're all gone now. Anyhow, we can do another fiddle thing for you. Definitely Charlie played the fiddle, and uh, he had a uh, like a big stand like this, and he'd have a tobacco stick run out on it, and have a string down on it with a piece of wood on the floor, like a little pedal or something. He could make that string go like that, and he made him some of these real ugly dials <laughs> and uh, puppets and stuff, and he put them on a hook he had on that tobacco stick and he'd pat his foot while he was playing and make them things jump around and dance. You know. <laughs> and, uh, you just want to play the fiddle? I like to play some fiddle, I guess. All right. <laughs> I'll get Michael to play the fiddle. <laughs> you want to use this one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at water. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's indoor, outdoor, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tempt to switch here. <laughs> See if I can play some Kentucky fiddles in it now. Make Roger work on the guitar. <laughs> apprenticeship with Roger Cooper and I've been trying to learn tunes specific to my region, uh, Lewis County mainly, but Greenham County too is where I live, it's a county away from him.
you're droning, if you drone the G string out real long, it's supposed to be the B.